um, yeah, look, it was there was some there was actually some really positives in the game. Uh, our our contested ball was terrific. I thought our back line in their one on ones were outstanding. Uh, our restart work was as good as it's been all year. I think we finished even in the clearances, but it was more the way that we went about it. We uh, Sturt didn't get any easy uh, clearance wins, which has been a, a challenge for us this year. So that was terrific. Um, and I thought our work rate, our resilience, particularly, you know, we were down by about six goals and it could have really fallen away. So I thought we hung in the game really well. But it was just our skills. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we just turned the ball over. Too many unforced errors, um, in, uh, which ended up being scores for the opposition or were in genuine spots where we could have scored. So you eliminate those and I think we closed the gap pretty, pretty well. Oh, look, look, skills is, uh, you know, it, it's a difficult one to to change in the in the short term. Uh, the only way forward is is for continued practice, the training, continually lifting our standards of training, and and we have done that this year. Our training standard has improved dramatically, and we're very consistent across every training session. The last place for that to um, you know change is then match day and. And that continues to be a challenge, but look, we'll just keep working on it. Um, we spoke after the game about was, whether our game plan wasn't conducive or was um, making us turn the ball over a little bit more than we'd like. Um, you know, I've got all my assistant coaches watching the game. I watched it today, and, and I don't think it is. I don't think we're taking undue risk. Uh, we just need to eliminate the unforced errors. And again, if we do that, we're going to improve our side. I think uh, our standards and, and uh, you know our behaviours, our um, approach to training um, is, has improved, and yeah, I'm really happy where that's gone this year. Um, obviously, for our, our supporters want to see wins on the board. I totally understand that, but wins come on the back of a, a lot of hard work, and um, and I think that the players have done what I've asked for them in that area. So uh, I, I think longer term, that it's gonna hold us in good stead. I've got no doubt we'll hit pre-season. Uh, in a few months time, um, you know, with renewed vigor, and I think we'll have our best pre-season in a long time and be ready for next year. Oh, look, I think uh, there's probably been a standout, to be honest, in terms of uh, someone who's improved out of sight, and that Josh Ryan. I think Josh has had a, uh, a fantastic season for a guy who was uh, on the fringe of playing, of being a league footballer this time last year, has um, turned into being a, a fantastic uh, uh, key backman for us. Uh, I think Chris Burgess has improved out again this year, which is exciting because he, he showed some really great signs last year. I think he's taken his game to another level. Um, so that would be my two that comes to mind. Yeah, look, you kind of consider this week a bit of a dead rubber in some aspects that no other team can make the finals. Um, but uh, as I've said, and, and the players are well aware, this every game to us from now on is incredibly important and um, because it, it's a representation of where we want to go in the future and um, consistent ruthless approach to the way that we go about our football is a non-negotiable whether it, whether it's a grand final or whether it's a game that doesn't have um, a, a lot on the end of it so it's about the way that we go so there'll be no excuses for our boys this week um, and they'll be given no uh, easy ride from me in the way they go about it uh, that's our expectation.